I want to speak to you today about prayer that will impact nations. And I believe that God wants to transform the nations. He wants the nations to come to know Him and follow Him and, and seek His face. And so I want to speak to you about that kind of praying today. The Bible says that, that Solomon prayed after the temple was built. And after he had prayed, the Bible says that the fire of God from heaven fell and consumed the offering. And, and you know, I, I believe God's fire will fall on the nations when, when we have prayed. And it was only after the temple was built and Solomon had prayed that, that the fire of God fell. And oh, what we need today is the fire of God in the nations of the world, in my nation, in your nation. We need to see God's fire burning and, and we need to see a great revival. But God looks for men, men and women who are people of prayer. And when he finds such a person, he will do extraordinary things. I was in Romania a number of years ago, and I saw the fire of God burning. It was almost as though I, I walked into history books and saw what I had read in history books about the great revivals and the great moves of God's Spirit. But it all began with one pastor. One pastor in a communist country where Christians were persecuted severely, and he prayed. And not only did he pray, but he taught his people to pray. He taught them to seek the face of God. And, and, and he told them to pray in an unusual way. He said, you, you pray that one day we will stand in the great stadiums and preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. Pray that one day in the newspapers and on television and radio, we will preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. And they said, Pastor, that's impossible. That can never happen. And he said, with men it is impossible, but with God all things are possible. You pray, you seek the face of God. They prayed, and they prayed, and they prayed, and they prayed. And in one divine moment, God changed everything. A revolution took place in Romania, and it took place because there was a Christian pastor who was to be arrested, and Christians went to try to protect him, and many of them were shot. And when that happened, I want you to know the masses of people gathered in the main square. These were not Christians. These were not church-going people. These were atheists, many of them. But a friend of mine stood and began to preach. And as he began to preach, the multitudes began to cry out, There is a God! There is a God! There is a God! And this spread to every major metropolitan center in the country. And it was as though the hearts and the eyes of the entire population was open. To who God is. One pastor prayed. He sought the face of God. He taught his people to pray. Even though he was exiled from the country, they prayed and continued to pray and continued to pray. And God moved and changed the nation. Oh, I tell you, prayer can impact a nation. We need to happen in our hearts and in our countries and in our churches what happened with Solomon after he prayed? The fire of God fell and consumed the sacrifice and the glory of the Lord filled the temple. Let's pray that the glory of the Lord would fill this temple, that our bodies would be a living sacrifice, that we would pray until we know that we're going to see our nations impacted by the fire that is burning in my heart and your heart.